In this video, I would like to show how we can plot a linear demand curve. Now, there are two points that we need in order to compute a line. There's going to be two intercepts. A point that intersects the price axis, okay, and the point that intersects the quantity axis. So with that being said, we're looking for these two points. In this video, I would like to show you my approach to draw the linear demand curve for the IB level. Because right here in this course, the quantity demand, sorry, the demand function is given as quantity demanded depending on the price. Whereas on the graph, we have price as a function of quantity. Price is the subject and quantity is the independent variable. Whereas the function itself is given in the reverse way. Why do they do so? I do not know. However, this is very easy to fix and very easy to solve. So my approach and my invitation to you is the following. Write this function where price is the subject, meaning take price on the left side and quantity on the right side. Swap them, swap their places. So that being said, let's, let's try and do so. I'll take this one on the left side and I will move quantity demanded on the right side. So minus 20p, when I move it to the left side, it becomes 20p. So I'll have 20p over here equals to 100 stays where it is. And then quantity demanded, I move it to the right side and it becomes minus qd. Now I have 20 on the left side. I want to divide both sides by 20. So I get price equals to 100 minus qd over 20. That means price equals to 100 over 20, which is equal to 5 minus 1 over 20 quantity demanded. And now we can see the points that we need in order to plot our linear demand curve. First of all, we have the price as a function of quantity as a, we would like to have it on our graph. So therefore, the intercept on the price axis is going to be 5. The intercept is the value of the price when quantity is zero. Let's check that. Price when quantity is zero is going to be five minus one over 20 times zero, and that's equal to five. So we said it correctly. The price intercept is five. That means over here, we will have the value of five. And now what's going to be the intercept on the quantity axis? Well, we have to use the similar logic. When price is zero, what is the maximum quantity that's going to be demanded on the market? Well, let's do so. Price equals to zero. We will have five minus one over 20 times quantity demanded. And now we can solve one over 20 quantity demanded equals to five. So that means quantity demanded is equal to 100. So therefore over here, we will have 100. If we connect these two, we will have our linear demand curve. So we are connecting it and that's going to be our linear demand curve. So one more time, even though the demand has the subject as quantity demanded, okay, at least in the exercises, my suggestion, make price the subject, look what is the intercept on the price axis, and look what is the intercept on the quantity axis, connect those two points, and we will have our linear demand curve. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, I will show how we can plot a linear supply curve. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.